everybody welcome back to the Aussie Ants channel and today I'm gonna share with you guys some really interesting facts about blue ants. Now in front of you you see two worker blue ants. I caught them around the back of my neighborhood and they're really big beasts. Absolutely huge. I even saw some meat ants back there and they're big and they're nothing compared to these guys. Nothing. Bull ants have so much venom that I'm so scared to operate against these guys. I don't even know why I caught them. They just look cool, I guess. Now, as you... It's so satisfying just looking at them wandering around their setup, isn't it? Now, I'm, I've put them in a tubs and tube setup so they can forage. And I'll give them a bit of honey later on. Blants have sharp stingers, so I would not recommend anyone having this. I'm only a beginner and keeper. I got knowledge, but I don't have that much experience. I have a little bit. I haven't caught many queens. Probably high school is five. That's not a lot. I only started my career this year. So, and not, not too many months ago, maybe three or four. But, man, am I just into ants. At first, I was like really addicted, but now I'm just. Well, I'm still addicted. But less. And that's a good thing. I do not want to go into a crazy ant person. An average ant keeper would be fine. Did you guys know that Bill Clinton, former Prime Minister of America, owned two ant farms? And that's why you should get ants. Even the Prime Minister said them. Ha. Huh. Ant haters. Blends come from the genus Myrmica, and this genus is very dangerous. All I know about this genus is that uh, it contains jack jumpers, bull ants, giant bull ants, bulldog ants, etc., and they are the deadliest creatures in the ants group. A bulldog ant looks like a bull ant. A jack jumper is like a smaller, like it's five times smaller than the regular bull ant, which is ginormous. But that doesn't make them less scarier. They can jump. Now, regular bullets can't jump. Only jack jumpers. Because regular bullets are apparently too heavy or something. That's what the taxonomist said. Anyway. I just don't recommend anyone. Unless you're like one or two years into your ant career. Like, even if you see a blunt queen, you're like, it's so rare. It's not that rare, but they can be worth up to 200 to 300 dollars on the internet. I have no idea where I got that sum off, but I just saw a bunch of bullet queens that are off like so expensive. Now I would only sell one for about 100 to 200 dollars. I mean, they should only be worth about 50 dollars, but since everyone's going that high, I might as well go a bit higher, don't you think? <laughs> But unless you're experienced, even if you see one, you're like, it's rare, I need, no. It's rare, sure. I mean, it'd be rare compared to other ants. But here in, Aus here in Australia, yeah, no, we have a lot of ants. A lot of bull ants. A lot of jack jumpers. A lot of bulldog ants. Not a lot of bulldog ants. Don't worry, guys. Come over here. You're safe. <sighs> There's still some bull bulldog ants, though. Who am I kidding? They're pretty common in this area. I haven't met one before, but I've met lots of blunts. And my friend says he's got lots of jack jumpers in his backyard. And he has a big backyard because he lives on a freaking farm. So let's feed the blunts some honey and see how they go. And I dropped the honey thing. Ooh, it's a really cute bowl. I got it from an acrylic ant farm nest that broke. But I still have this bowl, so I filled it with a bit of honey and put it inside. It's really cute. Even though, like, a natural ant bowl should actually be, like, maybe five times smaller. But ants can climb onto it and back. They like it. Looks like they found the bowl, guys. I was so scared when I put it in. I would not recommend, recommend Mermica to any of you guys unless you're like top level secret super FBI ant keeper. FBI. Go 
open up. We got to still We're taking the Pokemon. We're gonna make them our own pets. Anyway. Uh. Well, I hope that was good information to you guys, but. That was terrible information. Was I got most of it from other ant keepers that I've been watching over the years. It just stacks up in my brain and then like I'm like, I'll put it all into this one screen. Screen YouTube internet. I love it. And anyways, like these bullets, they're awesome for 